Hello everybody, I'm Peter Glob and today I'm gonna bring you a capture breakdown of Sheepshead from One Piece and oh my god it ha has been a while since I did the, the capture breakdown hell did I even make captures breakdown for Jiren, Dispo and Topo? I believe I didn't hmm. anyways now the reason you probably are saying why am I making a cap to break down of sheep set from One Piece? I mean, he was only a minor a new villain in the Zoark. Way more a nuisance. Well, the reason why I'm bringing, making a sheep set video is because, well, Wano Kuni after the Reverie arc, or maybe, or at least I think it's after Reverie arc. Um, Tekken King, King said that it's possible the Reverie and Wano are going to be in kind of together, but I think right now it's going to be after Reverie. So yeah, so yeah, after, so in Wano, Kaido of the Beast Pirates is going to be the, well, it's going to have a big play in the arc. And Sheepshead is one of those pirates. And since he technically counts more of a character, he technically counts. Now, first thing, I'm not gonna be making capture breakdowns of Ginrami, Jack, Kaido, X Drake, and Apu. Or any other people who are associated with Kaido. Well, at least more than Doflamingo. And the reason being is because Kaido, we technically still need to wait after to make a video. Because we still kinda need to wait. After Wanokuni to get more character breakdowns off him because right now we can just theorize and ah oh, ah oh, and the awesomeness that he was previously. Ginrami because we don't even know what kind of a that smile that smile she has. Jack because he can st possibly still come back. X Drake because I'm having some other video planned for him and. A poo because, well, I'm planning on just talking. I'm just planning on making a video on him. Just say how terrible, how weak he possibly is. Now, anyways, after Sheep said, I'm planning on making character breakdowns for the characters for Big Mom Pirates. Because even though the manga has ended, I'm not gonna be ranking the pirates. Until we, we the arc ends in the anime, which is possible that's going to happen in a couple of months. Uh, maybe when school ends in my country, it will be where the Holy Cake Island arc in anime ends, but it's probably not. So yes, let's give it this capture breakdown finally. Now here, now let now let's talk. Now here's ships at, and yeah, they kill. Oda definitely didn't want to go too much with him. He generic, he looks like a pretty generic in your eye character, like with that sword, with that weird, with that muscular body, with that that weird signs on his hands. His horns stick out a little bit more. His 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 glasses. He is pretty boring of a design. I mean. If you compare all the Beast Pirates, they kind of have these boring designs, but uh, he sticks out enough. So anyways, his fine style seems to become mainly attack, 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 and attack. Like seriously, talk about a hat first fighter. I mean, at least I'm pretty sure that most people in Tournament of Power, except you have a stand probably, had some kind of a extra strategy in their fights. This guy is just attack, attack, and attack. So yeah, very important that in fine style. His moves are uh, seem to be slashing mostly. I mean, he's he strikes you down with his sword or his horns that he can make in his arms. So yeah, also very boring. His abilities are well. His ability is turning his arms into ho into sheep's horns, 
And for some strange reason making his hair longer. Because I'm pretty sure in the anime where they had their flashback on how the Minx fought, fought Jack. He didn't seem to... He didn't seem to have longer hair when he had that form, but yeah. Now his equipment is a sword. It doesn't seem to like to be his speciality because... Well, to be fair, he went pretty early on getting to straw heads with his horns. And to be fair, a lot of characters just seem to have swords just to make them look more badass. So nothing special right there. His fine tactic is, tactic is attack at first. Like, nothing really, just attack, attack, just like I always said, attack, attack, attack. Like, completely mindless. Like, Jack. So, yeah, he's just attack and don't really do anything kind of else. Now, his weakness is mo just underestimate his opponents. Like, seriously, I don't think this guy ever, like, considered any... Was shocked by his opponents anywhere. Anywhere. Like, seriously, he fought off. I'm pretty sure Bro could kick his ass as possibly no problem. And, well, that was a pretty strong. And he didn't exactly do anything much. I mean, he got. He is powerful, considering the fact that Gin Raimi thought that anybody who could take him down should be like, would you get the fuck off here? But I don't know. Is that about. Shibuya just makes me strike his weak link. Now, let's talk about his loyalty. He seems to be one of these characters who's not going to betray them, Kaido and Jack, no matter what, because he seems to be incredibly loyal. Even though, for some strange reason, he didn't mention that they actually got ran out the island. But, consider the fact that he couldn't even talk after Jack punished him, I think he just couldn't say anything. So yeah, he basically praises Jack to some of the greatest, even though Jack's a moron. And then when he comes to Bell, and then when he fights someone else, and then, wait, and then just gets taken down. Like seriously, Genron really doesn't seem to be that physically strong, but he seems to be, but he just he fails on every le single level. Not a good character if you ask me, not for how the characters I would use at the beginnings. Although maybe they didn't even want to use the foreign sense of beast pirates, but mm, who knows really. Now, I hope you liked this video. I hope you guys leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And that's it. I cannot wait to see other people next time. Bye.